everybody welcome back to the channel so in a couple days i have a, a trip coming up for me and a friend of mine we are going to hike the tecumseh trail here in indiana it's a 42 mile trail and we're going to try to do it just a leisurely pace we're planning on four days three nights you know 10 ish 11 miles a day nothing major but uh just going to make it enjoyable and not crush miles and kill ourselves so today I thought I would go ahead and just kind of get all my gear together, finalize everything I want to take. So uh, I've also found a great way to aggravate your wife. Um, go ahead and sprawl everything out in the guest bedroom on the uh, bed and leave it there for a week as you decide what you want to take. So that's just a little pro tip. But uh, now I think I've got everything dialed down and figured out what I want to take on this trip. So I thought I'd give you guys a uh, little peek at what I usually carry in my pack, and uh, especially for a multi-day trip like this. I'm um, not trying to go too ultralight. I'm carrying a few less things than I normally would if I was just doing a simple overnight or really low mileage. So uh, this being uh, June is what I'm going to do the trip in. Um, it's going to be warm. It's going to be, I think, the low 60s, maybe high 50s for the lows. The uh, highs will be right about 80 degrees. So... Temperature-wise, I'm not going to have to carry a whole lot of extra clothing or really heavy quilts or anything. So with that, I'll get the camera turned around here and I'll start going through piece by piece what I'm planning to take on this hike and uh, show you guys what I got. All right, we'll just start uh, one side of the bed to the other and we'll just start showing you what I got going on here. So uh, for shoes, I've got the Loden Peak Ultra 5s. Um, hiked in these a couple times now. It's gonna be working great. I came from the Lone Peak 3s. Those were great, it lasted for quite a while. Um, one thing I did notice about these, I don't know if I'll ever be able to show you on the camera, but right there. So one of their fixes to this, um, this little cushion or a little piece of rubber right here on the end, on the toe end there. Uh, Ultra's notorious for that coming in glued and coming off. So they sewed it and it's the only thing so far is the uh, stitching is starting to come out on my right toe. So. I didn't have any problems on my low pink fives, but or my threes rather, but uh, we'll see how these fives do. So shoes, Lone Peak fives. Um, I have just a pair of the Ultra Gators too, because the pants I'm wearing um, do zip off. So if I have shorts on, I can throw these on too. Next up is my tripod selfie stick kind of deal for my GoPro. So that's a must if you're gonna vlog, I reckon. So we got that. Um, I'm not carrying a chair because we do plan on staying at the shelters across the uh, Tecumseh there. The first two nights, the second night, we're probably going to stay in Yellowwood at a campsite there. So no need for a chair, but I did bring my little, I've had this for quite a while, it's just a little Dutch sit pad. Just, you know, keep your butt dry if you got to sit down on the ground, it really ain't a whole lot of padding, but it weighs literally nothing and folds up nice and neat. Um, my boonie hat because why not my buddy Chris said he's got a big flap floppy uh, hat he's bringing so I thought as a joke I'd bring that so you know we'll see it keeps it off my head um okay where to go to next let's move over here a little bit so we'll start here this blue bag this is just uh, like a little stuff sack a little ditty bag I got why not break it open and show you what's inside right all right, a uh, little Luco tape. I usually don't get blisters, but just in case. Toothpaste. These are those little expanding towels that um, you pour a little bit of water on them and they expand, they're biodegradable. But uh, just to kind of wash my face off, wash the sweat off, whatever at night. Um, just to kind of clean up a little bit. Four days is a long time to go without a shower. So I pack those. Spare lighter with some duct tape around it. A little gold bond since it's going to be hot summertime. That really helps with chafing. Got to have a little teepee. Some wet ones. Um, definitely a luxury item, but a little bit of uh, de degree deodorant right there. And this is just a couple little uh, fire starters I keep in there just in case. So, ditty bag, done. We are going to stash water, but uh, it's like I said, it's going to be hot, so we may, may need to filter some. So I've just got my c knock bag and my Sawyer Squeeze filter in this bag right here. Uh, this bag here is just my tent stakes. I've got four of these, one for each corner of my tarp, and I've got 
two with uh, without the guy line on it for my pullouts on my hammock. But I keep those in there. And then my trowels, the deuce of spades. I keep all that. One nice little bag on the outside of my pack. Uh, that keeps anything for, you know, if it would poke through this and poke into my quilt or my hammock or anything. And keeps the trowel on the outside, you know, for emergencies. Um, right here, this is just a little bit of paracord wrapped around a, um, around a carabiner. Uh, when I get to camp, I will just wrap this around the tree, tie it, got my carabiner, I can hang my pack on it, makes it nice and neat, keeps everything up off the ground. Um, this bag here, this is, it actually came with, I ordered for my, uh, backpack. It actually snaps into the inside of the backpack, but this is just like first aid stuff. Uh, this little wallet right here, I keep bandages and like alcohol pads and stuff like that in there. I've got just some chapstick and some medication, uh, like ibuprofen and, um, aspirin and stuff. I am prone to get migraines and that, so I keep a little bit of messing with me for those too as well, but that little bag just kind of goes on the inside of my pack. It's got two little straps, kind of keeps it up on the top in case I need to get to anything like that. Um, headlamp, black diamond spot. I had this thing for years. Works great. I'll be taking that with me. Um, this is my electronics bag. It's just a uh, Dyneema bag from Light AF. Um, got all kinds of good stuff in here. Got my Rev Power battery charger. Um, let's see. Light for the GoPro, headphones, and uh, charging cable. It's the same cable for my phone or the GoPro, so if I need to charge either one of them off the uh, RAV power. Got that, extra SD card, and a couple of uh, extra GoPro batteries. So it's all I carry like with you know electronics, just some spare batteries, spare cables, that good stuff. Uh, moving on, let's see what we got up here. Picaridin insect repellent. Um, I treat all my clothing before uh, I go out with permethrin, and then I'll put this on. It's just a lotion. It goes on. I'll put it on my arms, back of my neck, um, top of my head, uh, legs, wherever you know you can have skin. Just they say not to get it on your face or in your eyes. But uh, ticks are bad. I've already found two crawling on me this year. So uh, I'll be lathering this up on me before I hit the woods. Um, I'll have two one liter bottles of water with me that I'll be carrying. Like I said, I've got my water filter and we do plan on cashing some water as well. So those will be in my pack. Oh, what do we got? Buff. Um, I like to sleep in this, especially if it's kind of cool. Uh, I'm a bald guy, so not much insulation off the top of the head. So this is nice. And it's, you know, you get these things have multiple uses, washing stuff off if you need to. Um, I've actually dipped this in the creek before when it's hot and put it on my head, help cool you down. So uh, yeah, I'll be packing out. It really doesn't weigh much. Got a mosquito head net. If you can tell, I hate bugs. So uh, just in case they're, you know, swarming around your face or whatever, I'll have that, weighs nothing. Um, let's see what else do we got here. Let's move the camera up. My uh, hammock gear, Dyneema tarp. Just got that, used it once, and uh, love it. Super, super lightweight. So, beans, I'll be hammock camping. I'll have that. Have my uh, Dream Hammock Sparrow. Bringing that along. So, comfortable, man. I, uh, I cannot get comfy in a tent. So, hammock camper, I am. Uh, one luxury item. This is, there you go, pack. This is a pillow made by Teton Sports, and it, it'll pack down super, super small into a stuff sack, but I usually lay it on top, or, you know, towards the top of my pack, and it just smushes flat. I have a uh, C to Summit inflatable, and man, it is just, it's not comfortable for me in my hammock. This weighs quite a bit more than that, but uh, like I said, it's a luxury item. I, got, I like to get comfy and uh, get good rest. Um, let's see, over here, uh, for clothing I plan to wear, I've just got like a, uh, wicking shirt, little Nike sleeveless shirt, um, darn tough socks. I've got a long sleeve little hoodie. It's real lightweight, Arteryx, uh, 
shirt I'm gonna bring along just in case it gets cool at night, but I doubt it. And then just a, uh, it's just a regular pair of hiking pants, the legs zip off, um, actually from REI. So that's that. Let's move on down the line here. Um, cooking gear, I'll be bringing my, I've got a little Toke 750 milliliter pot and it's actually just a cup, but uh, this thing works great. Um, it's 450 milliliters. It's like one and three quarter cups of water. So most of your uh, backpacking meals take about one and three quarter cups. Some of them take two, but I haven't run into any problems with that yet. So I'll have that. I've got a little bit of carbon felt that I can use as a windscreen or anything, or I can, uh, the handles on here, they'll get hot. So I'll use it just to grab that little pot holder. Um, I've got a little mini Bic lighter and my BRS stove. Um, I do have the jet boil stash now, but, uh, it's hard to beat the weight of this. So I'd rather pack this around for four days than that stash, even though that stash is pretty lightweight. The one, uh, downfall to the Tokes 450 milliliter is it's sold more of a cup and it doesn't come with a lid. So uh, a little hack I did was just, um, I took a, uh, a canning, like a ball canning lid and it fits on there. Perfect. Drill a little hole in there, put a little piece of wire on it. Boom. Good enough to cover it for boiling water. So that's my cook kit along with a uh, small canister, fuel canister there. Um, let's see. My under quilt for my hammock. This is a Costco quilt that I did a little DIY on. And I basically just sewn a suspension in it. And I kind of copied hammock gears kind of the way they make theirs. And I'm sure other ones pretty much make it the same way. It's kind of, it's not rocket science, but that's my under quilt. And this has been good all the way down to 50 degrees. And like I said, I think the low is supposed to be in the 60s. So that works really well. Top quilt, same thing. It's a Costco quilt. I just sewn a foot box in it and bam, there you go. So super lightweight. I think these weigh like 15 ounces a piece. So kind of hard to beat that. All right. Let's get to the food. So I've got a 12 liter Osprey food uh, bag. I've used that for I don't know, a couple years now. Still doing good. So keep rocking that. Eating utensil. Got the morsel spork. Um, love that thing for uh, getting into the freeze dried meals or the dehydrated meals. Um, it's great for a right hander. No good for a left hander. As you can see, if I try to use it left handed, the uh, spoon goes the other way. But it's got this rubber grip all the way around it. And that makes it great for getting into the corners of the uh, dehydrated meals. But not so great if you're southpaw. Food. Um, I'm not really finished dialing in food yet, but my plan is like for lunches, I'm gonna have some tortillas and I need to go to the store and pick up some more of the uh, chicken creations. Um, I like these better than the tuna creations and, uh, where I live here in Indiana, the only place you can get the chicken creations right now is like Kroger's. So I need to run into Kroger's, get a couple more of those for lunches. I've got one Snickers bar, but I don't know if I'm gonna bring that or not being it's so hot out, that'll just melt in the pack. Um, breakfast, I'm not a huge breakfast person on the trail, but I like to have something. So I got cliff bars for each three mornings. I got some Starbucks instant coffee for one for each morning. Um, I planned on two packs of these, uh, just cashews, roasted and salted, just two packs a day, just for snacks to keep in my little snack pouch on my backpack. Um, what else do I got? I got some gum, some beef sticks. And for dinners, uh, I've got, what's that, the beef stroganoff, peak refuel, uh, mountain house chicken and dumplings, and another peak refuel, the chicken alfredo pasta. Um, I have to say, the peak refuel, they're about $2.50 more, but they don't have as much bad stuff in them as the mountain house does, and definitely not as much sodium. That's my problem with a lot of the mountain house meals. They've got so much sodium in them, man. You want to drink a liter of water after eating one, but, um, I guess the only thing left, get over here, take a look at my pack 
And I do have a few, a full review of this pack on my channel if you're really interested. But Z Packs Arc Blast, probably my favorite piece of gear that I have. Um, I love this pack. It is so comfortable, super light. Um, on the outside, I've got a little thermometer that my wife gave me, and I've got my uh, big giant Swiss Army knife. Um, anything else I think I've added to it? got a hip belt pocket and I've got the uh, fanny pack on it so I love this just to keep snacks in either one of these two my phone fits really good down inside here um, I've got my Ulanzi camera clip on the strap and that's basically it um, like I said it could change a little bit here and there what I decide to bring but that's what makes having all this gear fun is going through it and setting it all up and getting ready for a trip. So uh, if you guys have any questions on any of the gear that I uh, just kind of showed you what I'm taking of that, feel free to uh, ask in the comments below. A lot of this gear I've had for multiple years now and have plenty of use with it. So I should be able to answer any questions you'd have. Um, if you liked this video, give me a like. If uh, you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. Be on the lookout um, here in the next couple weeks. I should have the video up of the trip. It's coming up in a couple weeks, so I'll get that out as quick as I can. And if you guys get a chance to get outside and explore, do so. And remember to leave it better than you found it.